Lassen Volcanic National Park in California. Hey, we're in California. We're here to do a five mile hike today. So we started at 8,500 feet as we go in. Oh, we got a lot of chipmunk friends. 8,500 feet and we're going up to 10,500. So the altitude is not crazy high. So we're getting real close to the summit here. We passed a couple groups of hikers. Uh, one group was saying how beautiful the the view is at the top. You get to see out the other side, the which other we side of the mountain. yeah, the other side of the mountain, which we haven't seen yet. And the other group we passed, they were kind of struggling. Oh, but it looks like they're still coming. If that's them. Yeah, well, it looks like it. Maybe. Maybe not. That's true. Uh, so, anyways. We're getting close. Beautiful view of the big blue lake right, right over there. Um, kind of close to the parking lot. There is a special species of plant up here. I'm blanking on the name now. Alpine flower of sort. It's found only here, only on this mountain, uh, between this mountain and another section of the park not that far away so that's really neat and dad you brought up a good point it's fascinating that these wildflowers can be so localized yeah. these ecosystems can be so localized all right all right hey we're getting up there not too far to go feel great ryan is three days post marathon so that can't go without a bit of applause. He's still wearing his medal. A little extra weight for the hike up to the mountain. There we go. First marathon. Boise Marathon. That's three days and three states ago. All right, we are almost at the peak. We got a little snow. Well, wow. I don't think that ever melted. That might be from last, last year. That looks pretty compacted. Uh, we are looking north, which gives that snow a little bit of a uh, break from the sun. Straight north, so these crags in front of us, not to be confused with, what, what was that crag? Chaos crags. Chaos crags, which is behind it. Behind that is Mount Shasta. So if you look at what looks like a cloud, yeah. mm -hmm. the highest cloud is actually Mount Shasta at 14,100. And 79 feet and then uh, we got a nice diagram here there's there's great education as we mentioned the whole way the top of the peak which we're gonna go to next right up there but this is just such a great little break area so we're at the bottom end of the ring of fire the volcanoes that are still reasonably active uh, going around Alaska, down the Asian coast, Korea, Japan, to Australia. Let's go all the way to Australia. Indonesia. Indonesia. Yeah. Down in Indonesia and uh, um, New Zealand. So not Australia. And most of the mount or most of the volcanoes have been active in the last two thousand years. Pretty crazy. All right. Ugh. Here we are. Hey, up. I feel great. Sitting on top of Mount Lassen. Lassen Peak. Lassen Peak. The volcano that, uh, just that rock that's behind you. You see there's like two big boulders there, just that beautiful black yep. volcanic rock. Yeah, nice eyes. That's a, that's a good, a nice two boulders to pick out. A lot of sulfur remains. We got Mount Shasta right behind Ryan. Uh, did kind of go through those. So how do you feel? That was 2,000, just shy of 2,000 feet, right? I, I just loved it. It was a fun hike. Ooh, I have 2,000 exactly two, literally two zero zero zero. There we go. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, cut it. Yeah. Speeds at 0, 0.0 as well. Nice. Yeah. 
add a couple more zeros. Yeah, it took us a little less than two hours to get up here. Pretty good. Yeah. It actually took us a lot less. We've been here for about a half hour. Yeah. It took us a lot less than two hours. Um, yeah, we're 10,400 and 10,000... Yeah, I'll call it 10,500. We'll round up. We were up there just a second ago, so... Yeah, this is a great peak. I think uh, it's underrated because I've, again, never heard of anyone coming here or mentioning this national park. Yeah. And this is well worth a trip. Uh, get yourself up to Lassen Peak and, and check out check out the vol volcanoes all around. Yeah, and it is the bottom of the volcano string. So if you're coming out to Sierra Nevadas, take a day trip, come up here and check out some volcanoes because Sierra Nevadas are traditional mountains. They're not volcanic. And this just changes everything. I just, that background is so surreal.